and check out how good this freaking looks. This piece is already in. That is one of the sides. I just threw it in to test fit it, but check out this fit. So it goes back in this corner, comes out, folds around, comes up here. And this is the same piece as this wall. That looks so freaking sick. It's perfect. Check out that catfish. All right, so I'm gonna start with the back of the boat and build a aluminum box for the gas tank. So I want a box to fit perfectly inside this square here. That way no gas spills out onto the foam and melts it. So I got two pieces of aluminum here that I had a metal shop cut for me and bend, but I forgot I oversized it. So this is not going to work. As you can see, it is way bigger, but I made my marks and I'm gonna have them cut off the lips right here and then fold it right there. So I'm gonna do that with both of these pieces. I already got them both marked. Now I just need to cut out pieces that will fit perfectly right here on this side wall. I got this piece of foam here. So I'm gonna be using this piece as my template, but I'm actually going to be cutting out this piece of foam here. So I'm gonna take out all of this. That way the box will sit under this lip right here. So it'll all be aluminum. It'll look nice and clean. So first I need to go ahead and cut this out. So now the box will fit nice and snug under this lip. So I want the box to be all the way butted up against this rib. And then that will leave a one inch space behind the box for all the wiring and whatnot. I'm going to do this size, but make it, so make it three inches longer than this. So I'm adding in a support piece right here. Just gonna hammer it in. Got a hole drilled and then countersunk. I added in another support. That's gonna be a support to support the deck, but I got a pretty cool idea with this box. I'm gonna leave the lips on each side hanging over. So that is how I'm going to rivet the box into place. So this is all gonna be underneath here, but the sides will be folded over and riveted on. Hopefully this aluminum shop can do it. I know they can, they can do some awesome stuff, but uh, taking the chance here. I went ahead and already got one all done. It is pretty intricate, but uh, a little bit of planning can go a long way. So I got the cut line, the fold line, all the way around. That's gonna be folded, that's cut, and then this side's gonna be folded as well. I got that piece notched out. That corner is a corner that goes here under the lip and then goes up and folds over. So like I said, pretty intricate, but if you plan it out and take your time and just do it, it's it's pretty simple. You just gotta do it. Make this counter sink a little bigger. Guys, I have not charged this battery since I started this project. This was a $100 rivet gun and uh, it's holding up. Batteries are lasting forever. All right, so I got all the metal pieces marked. It is all ready to be cut and bended. So I'm gonna head to the metal shop and go have them do all this. So when I get back, all this will be bent and cut and ready to turn into a box. We got the bottom the two sides and then the other two sides here and check out how good this freaking looks. This piece is already in. That is one of the sides. I just threw it in to test fit it, but check out this fit. So it goes back in this corner, comes out, folds around, comes up here. And this is the same piece as this wall. That looks so freaking sick. It's perfect. I could not have done that any better. <laughs> Here's the other side. So for this side, I'm going to have to cut out a hole here for the hose. If gas ever fills up to this hole, I got way more worse problems than <laughs> gas spilling. But uh, yeah, this is how the piece looks. We got two folds on one side and the back side 
folds the opposite direction and that just sits right on top of this. It's level with this and that. But there is one bad thing. This is such a tight fit that I'm probably gonna have to undo this rivet, move this out, maybe even this one, just to get the box in there once it's all put together. So can I measure something or what? <laughs> Not bad at all. So uh, we're gonna take it all back out. Let's see how hard it is to take out. There she is. All right, there's that piece. I, I'm so stoked, man. That looks so freaking good. This shop does an amazing job, man. I mean, I made all the lines and told them what to do, but they do it perfect. See how perfect that bend is too? Like it's straight up and down. I bought a brake from Harbor Freight just to see if I could even do this. If I could have done this myself at the house, I could have saved two hours of driving. All right, so I got the brake from Harbor Freight and a piece of metal. Of course it's gonna bend it, but I wanna see how good of a bend it is. If it can bend it like super straight and hard, that would be awesome. Let's see what happens. All right, so this is bent using the brake. And honestly, that is not bad. That is definitely doable. You can work with that. Once again, there is the shops bend, pretty sharp bend. And there is the Harbor Freight brake. Not bad. Their bends are definitely way, way better. But this is definitely workable, so. So anything else I need to bend on this build, I will be trying to use this first before going back to the shop. All right, so we got all the pieces for the box. So let's go ahead and throw it together. So another thing I got for the box is some JB Weld. So JB Weld is the only thing that is gas proof. I mean, there's probably other products, but JB Weld is the easiest to find. Could not find anything else at my Home Depot, but this box is going around the gas tank. So if I ever spill out the gas, this box is supposed to catch it and keep it in. And JB Weld is gonna help me out with that. So let's go ahead and get this box put together. You already see me make all these boxes and it's gonna be the exact same way I made these boxes. So I'm just gonna do a time lapse and put this thing together. So here it is. All right, so I got the sides perfectly cut out and the right size. But I did not think about cutting down the back sides. So that fits in the box perfectly, but yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> So I need to mark that and cut down this side. All right, so I just wanna stop this time lapse real quick and say, look at this. This is freaking awesome. I'm not gonna lie. I was uh, doubting my abilities to make a box, but uh, dude, are you freaking kidding me? This is awesome. And it's gonna drop in this hole right here. So, I mean, you can kind of imagine how it's gonna look. It's gonna be freaking sick. All right, let's start up this time lapse again. Record, there we go. So guys, I didn't show y'all, but uh, I went super hard. I 
mean, I just covered everything, making damn sure it was uh, waterproof. All right, the box is done, but unfortunately, it is not going to fit. Oh, crap. I still need to drill out the freaking hole for the gas pump here. Real quick, before I drop the box in, I have three wires here that I need to extend. If I drop the box in, I won't be able to get to these wires. So now is the only time I can do it. I will have only about an inch gap in between the box and the outside of the boat. So that's where I'm gonna run all these wires. They'll be sitting right here in that gap. But yeah, let's go ahead and extend those real fast. All right, so I got all the wire extended. It runs down the side and there's quite a bit of it. So I should have plenty enough for that. But there's one more thing stopping me from dropping in the box. And that is I want to put a light in this hatch. So I need to add a light to the box. But first, let's try and fit the gas tank into the box. Imagine it doesn't even fit. God, that would suck. So it's gonna go this way. Uh huh, dude. Perfect fit. I got a little six LED strip here that's gonna sit right about there. Let's go ahead and start drilling out some holes. So there is the light. I just went ahead and riveted it on, but we can go ahead and take off this plastic. Oh yeah. Probably get some hairspray and take off all these uh, marker spots, make it look cleaner. So cutting out this hole left this edge really sharp and jagged. So what I'm gonna do is I got some door edge here. This is a door guard. You can find this on Amazon. But I cut out a little notch there for this rivet. And I'm just gonna be sticking this on around the edge here. So as you see, you just press it on and that is going to protect the gas hose from bouncing around inside this hole and getting cut. The perfect length. Awesome. All right, so as you can see, that is now safe. Eee! That's not gonna cut anything. And now the hose can go through there. No problems. Awesome, so there's that. What else do I need to do? Oh yeah, now I need to run these wires to this light here. So I got the light all wired up, guys. Both ways work. It's just a way to make it more waterproof and make the connection stronger. But I'm just waiting for this liquid tape to harden and then we can drop the box in to the boat. Guys, I promise you, this is going to be super tough to get this box in this hole. This box fits so freaking tight without all of the rivets. Now there's rivets sticking out everywhere, so it's gonna make it even harder to get this box in. So that's gonna be a pain in the butt. I may have to leave out this extra piece of styrofoam I took out just to be able to get it in but small price to pay i guess are you dry yet still tacky come on man i guess that makes this heat shrink tubing better because you just heat it up shrink it and no dry time it's already done but i'm here waiting on this crap to dry
Well, guys, there it is, the finished product. Um, that probably looked easy. That time lapse was pretty quick, but uh, that was probably the hardest thing I've ever done in my John boat to bass boat conversion career. Uh, that sucked. I'm not even kidding. It looked quick on the time lapse, but I did not film for the last four hours. I'm not even kidding. It is now 4 a.m. in the morning, and uh, it's finally done. But uh, holy crap. So uh, first off, it was the wrong size. I had to cut this right here like seven different times. Same with this side over here. I got this light wired up, ready to put it in. I was stoked it fit perfect. And then, nope, didn't fit at all. Had to cut the wires, redo all that, take out all this foam, all that foam. I had to undo all these rivets, do the rivets again, then undo the rivets again. I'm serious, I put like four hours of work into this, not even filming it. And I just now turned the camera back on to do these four, six rivets right here. But although it sucked, I will say this, it looks freaking awesome. I'm soaked with the way it came out. I literally almost trashed this entire box. When I first set it in and it didn't fit, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm done for. I was thinking for like 30 minutes straight, like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And I tried to cut it down and it still wouldn't fit. I was just struggling and I was literally about to just trash this whole plan here. So uh, I went ahead and cut out this square here of the railing and I put the door guard there as well so it does not mess up this transducer cable. I got this nice flap over here. That one worked out great. I was able to keep that one. But this one, I had to cut off. As you can see, that was way too tall and I had to cut it down to make it work. It was sitting like an one eighth inch above this railing, which was not good. How's this look? That's perfect. I think that's the only thing that worked out. Well, besides this side too, but Jesus, man. But it's done. I'm super stoked with it. It looks freaking amazing. The hard work paid off. It just, it wasn't supposed to be that hard. I messed up the uh, slant of this and it threw off everything. But uh, I was able to fix it. And once again, it looks good. Let's go ahead. Oh, my back hurts. I'm not even kidding. Ugh. Let's go ahead and get this uh, gas tank in here. Oh, by the way, here is the hole here too. Got some more door guard as well, just to protect the cable. Or the hose. Oh, it's done. Holy crap. I'm never messing with this again. Hopefully. <laughs> oh my gosh. It sucks so bad. But it is done. We got the light here. We got the gas tank in. We'll have enough room to open this up. Oh yeah. Easy peasy. Here's something that I do want to see. I want to put this door, this hatch lid. Okay, so you got to imagine that the entire deck is covered in plywood and foam and you open this up and this is what you see. How freaking sick does that look? Looks awesome. It's perfect. I can spill gas in there, not to worry a single bit. That gas side is done. I still need to drill a hole in this for the hose and also run the light in that side, but we will do that in the morning. I am exhausted. Like I said, it's four in the morning. Boat's looking good. Holy crap, man. Boat's looking too good. Who did this work? I didn't do this work. This work is too nice for me. Oh, I'm so excited that's done. Guys, I'm not even kidding. I was about to pack up my stuff and quit my job. This thing sucks so bad. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go to bed. Ah!